What's good, YouTube? Today, I'm bringing to you the best last three jump shots of 2K17. Now, the reason why I say that is every jump shot is patched out there. It's always brick. There's always something wrong with the jump shot one day, and then one day it's not working, one day it is working. With these three, it will never happen. With these three, it will never, ever happen at all. If you're having a bad day with the jump shot, that means you're just not concentrating. In my opinion, with these three, because these three are just cash. All right. The first jump shot. Base, Carmelo Anthony, release one, Carmelo Anthony, release two, Steph Curry. Now, the, the blending speed, the, the release speed all the way, and the animation blending is on 80 and 20. Leave it at that. If you're, um, th this jump shot is best, like, it's, it's gonna work so good. It's good for every other archetype, but it's gonna work real good for stretch bigs and sharp shooters. You will not miss with this jump shot. Once I teach you this cue point, you will not miss with this jump shot. All right, real quick, let me show you guys that it's on Hall of Fame. Now, I'm not cheating, y'all. And the cue point is he brings the ball back. It's like a slingshot. Think of it as a slingshot. He brings the ball back, and right away he releases. Like a whip. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do that in slow motion real quick. You don't want to rush the jump shot, right? The farther away you are from the hoop, the faster release speed is going to be. That's what people tend to forget. So if I teach you this, um, the cue point, it's going to be different every time you shoot farther and farther. The closer you are, the easier it gets. The farther you are, the harder it gets. So from limitless range with sharpshooters and, and playmakers and all that that like to shoot from deep, you got to be fast. You got to get the cue, t the cue on point like fast. You got to tap it, basically. But yeah, don't don't ever look at your meter. You gotta practice without your meter. This is money for playmakers. I kid you not. You will not miss. You won't. You really won't. The release speed all the way up. Rudy Gay seventy percent and Steph Curry on thirty percent. This is for six five and up. If you six five and below, you wanna put that release speed a little down. I'm not gonna lie. All right, the release point with this jump shot is he brings the ball to his face, and that's it. Like, he just brings it up, release, and then that's, it should be cash. It wasn't a green light, but I got the cue point down pat, you know? So, let me do it again, and hopefully I get a green light. I'll get a little farther. No, not a green, look, not a green light, and it's still cash. To let y'all know that this cue point shit works. All right, so the cue point is when he bring, he goes up, he brings the ball to his face, and then he lets go. Um, the farther you are, the faster the cue point is going to be. I already said that with the last jump shot. This jump shot is cash on mid ranges, top of the key, all that. I really, rem I really recommend this jump shot for playmakers and point forwards. But any other archetype, you use it. I used it with my stretch big, and it was, it was just absolutely cash. This last jump shot. This last jump shot is the most deadliest jump shot. You will ever see in your life. If you see someone pull up like this, you guard them. That's it. Or you leave the game. Because they're not going to miss if you're too late. You understand me? You might as well like just, just quit the game and let them take the W. And stop wasting your time. Because this jump shot is cash. Base, LaMarcus Aldridge. Release one, Kobe Bryant. Release two, Steph Curry. Blending and release speed. 80-20 on Kobe Bryant and Steph Curry. And then you put the speed all the way up. You put it all the way up. You understand? All the way up. I ain't talking about French Montana. With this jump shot, you're not missing. All right? It, it, it's, just a, it's just a plain fact. This is, he brings the ball to his shoulder, and then he releases it. Look at that. Look at the facts. All right? You're not going to miss with this jump shot. You're not going to miss. All right? If Yo, I'm telling you, bro. If you have a playmaker and you put this on, it's over. 
It is over. You understand me? And I'm talking about this is like, yo, like this is this jump shot's a problem, bro. Bro, this jump shot's really a problem. All right, it's just cash. It's just it's it's honestly just cash. Green. Oh my god. Before I end the video, um, I just want to make a few things about my channel and what I'm gonna do with my channel from now on. So the the changes that I want to do is I want to have a more organized and consistent schedule. So I'm probably gonna upload two to three times a week. And that's gonna be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, most likely. Um, I'm thinking of some sort of weekly series I can do to bring to y'all so you guys can look forward to. Um, the sensors that I use in my videos, I've been hearing that as, as a little loud. I'm gonna try to bring that down a lot for you guys, so it won't like be irritating or hurting people's ears and stuff like that. I understand how it means that could be an apologize for that. Um, the weekly series I want to do is either Friday the 13th. Or some some corny funny stuff with my friends. We go, we could play Uno or something. I don't know, but um, just know when 2K18 come out, when Call of Duty World War Two come out, when all these new games come out, I'm gonna be doing videos. I'm gonna be doing tips, walkthroughs. Um, yeah, this channel is gonna be lit by the time um September the fourth comes around and all the games drop. But for now, I'm just gonna keep on dropping content for y'all for you guys to laugh and stuff. But um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Follow my my social media and stuff down below. And stay. Like